welcome 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 to my channel i am jerica i am the creator and owner of misfits holistic fitness and nutrition where i am all about restoring the mind body and spirit not only just through physical movements such as yoga yoking the mind body and spirit but nutrition allowing you to transition easily to a more plant-based friendly diet because that's what helped me when I was on my journey of 300 pounds, high blood pressure, diabetes, you name it. Once I started to consume more plants into my diet and weaning the meat out of my diet, I saw a significant difference in my mind, body, and spirit. And from that point, I was like, "Is no point of me holding on to this wealth, the knowledge, and these experiences. If it helped me, I need to help somebody else. And so I became a personal trainer, a group fitness instructor, even a Zumba instructor, a yoga instructor. And now I'm embarking on my 200-hour teacher training for Kundalini Yoga. And I'll explain more about Kundalini Yoga in another video. So Satnam. So Satnam means truth is my name. And so I wanted to share my wealth of knowledge with you today about kind of like life in general. So the other day I was listening to a couple of podcasts and one of the podcasts that came across was from, um, um, what's her name? Um, Guru Jagat. I was really, you know, saddened to hear that she transcended. And even though I just came across her during my, um, Kundalini training, like all of her teaching, she's, truly a legend if you've ever listened to her it's like wow you just you basically listen to everything she says and she speaks nothing but truth and i love her and not saying that you know saddened that you know she transcended like oh my god i just understand that her body her energy just no longer could vibrate on this earthly plane anymore this 3d she surpassed us and that's okay because that's what we all are going to do eventually is transcend that was the blueprint that jesus gave to us to follow um no matter what you believe in, whether that's Jesus, Krishna, Buddha, they all have this message that you hear for a little while and you learn to let go and shed the lower layers of yourself. You assist other people on that journey and then you ascend. We ascend every day, death and be reborn, okay, every day. So she said the other day uh, she was speaking about misery and she said that you know when you start to appreciate misery in your life the misery would just dissipate it would just run away from you and i was like that is so true and you know we always say that saying that misery loves company right so when we find the joy and appreciation of the ups and downs in life that will usher in what we're actually are looking for that love that happiness that abundance and that prosperity because everything is a feeling and no one is immune from these situations or these outcomes that life present themselves because this is why we are here to shed and let go into a sin and i was like wow i remember going around in life complaining a lot and sometimes i still do we all fall victim of that but it's when you transmute that energy and go to a higher thought and be more thankful and seeing what you can learn from this or what's the comma. Comma means action. And whether that's good or bad, it has a vibrational frequency to it. And so I was like, I'm not going to sit here and be down about certain things that are unfolding. I'm going to love every moment of it because once I come up out of it, I know a demonstration from spirit, my inner being will be made. And that's the same thing that happened to Job in the Bible. If anyone's familiar with Job, and I heard a podcast the other day, Brian Scott, go follow him. He's on YouTube. Just put Brian Scott in here. He talks a lot about the new age. He reads a lot of books from the new thought teachers that have been around forever. Like, I was so amazed. Like, I didn't even know who Neville Goddard was. Like, how I didn't know him. But anyway, Napoleon Hill, um, Florence Shovel Shin, The Game of Life. This book saved my life. I love this book. So many others. I haven't even come across a lot of them. But he talks a lot about their books. He reads their books. They, he breaks it down. It's like phenomenal. And he said yesterday, like it was somebody that he was reading from. I can't, not going to quote the name, but it's, 
if you type it brian scott matter of fact i'm gonna just put it underneath the video how about that save us all some time right but he was talking about job and how job was persecuted by the people that was around him he was sick he lost everything his children and his wife was like curse god and die but he didn't do that he steadfast through all that persevered held his head up higher he might have had some lows not saying joe was all you know you know happy through it all but he made it through and he was rewarded and that's the same thing about us i really feel like we get from the point that we think that we are immune from things happening to us and i really do think because of social media always showing you people living their best life but most of the time they friend secondly you don't know what they had to do to get to that point to do that on social media because i do it like you know there are things that i celebrate but you don't know what i had to go through to get to that point you know what i mean so you know those things are major factors that come to play when we are playing the game of life well the game of life i had it upside down <laughs> So, and life is just a game. It's just knowing how to play it. And so, I just say, you know what? Instead of being negative or thinking negative or thinking the worst, we know that your prayers are going to be answered. Time is an illusion. Misery loves company. Once you be thankful for everything, the misery will dissipate. So, we celebrate it because the misery will lose its purpose. It don't have a place. Its purpose is to cause pain and suffering. But when you be like, <laughs> I'm thankful for this and smiling. Guess what? The positivity, misery don't like positivity. It's just an energy. It's a vibration. And you can shift that at any time and place. And you can do so through movement, chanting, and singing, dancing, laughing, or whatever, you know, that helps you to get through. If you pay more focus, put give more energy to those things rather than the things that you don't want, that is what's going to usher in the breakthrough. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Don't he do it? So... Me being who I am, a uh, energy vibrational shifter for the collective, meaning that I'm here to also lift everyone's vibration up so we can all ascend. As I'm mastering things, I have to share them with other people so we can all master them because we're here to serve. I'm, it's not all about you all the time. You know what I mean? It's, it's all about everybody collectively that's around us. And so I just wanted to share those thoughts with you today. I am going to be uploading more videos about cooking. Just bear with me. Just try to operate all these social media platforms. Ah, but help us on the way with that. I love you guys. If you know this video was motivational, it was inspirational to you, please drop some comments below. Let me know. I love hearts. Make sure that's how you can pour into me. Keep the love vibration flowing. What you put out, you will receive. And also, make sure that you follow me on all of my social media platforms. I'm Misfit Fitness on Instagram. I am Live Fit on Facebook. We working on trying to change the name, but Facebook was giving us some issues. But just pouring to me love, and I'm on the YouTube. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you know every time I'm on live. Satnam.